Hey guys, how do you do? Welcome to the programming users TV. So for today, we're going to see how to pass a list, okay, from our controller, of course, to our view. I using the view data dictionary or the view bug uh, dynamic type. We're going to see how to pass our data, of course, from the controller. This is our second uh, SP.NET MVC core tutorial. So we'll see how to pass data right here and then display that particular data in a material list you can see this is our material list uh, with our header right here and then of course the list items okay so this it's a simple tutorial it's our second tutorial we're going to explain how you can pass list of data of course to the view and then of course display that particular data okay so you can see the theming we're using right here this is our material is theme we explained in the previous tutorial how to uh, use this particular theme how to change your default bootstrap theme so today we're going to be more of seeing how to just pass our data so yes let's get started so the first task of course is to create our project go ahead uh, choose the sp.net core web application then click ok it's going to create our project okay so once we have that one remember we're using in this particular class we're using the of course, and uh, materialized theme. So we're going to include the materialized lib uh, right here. We're using its theme, and then of course the CSS. Okay. So we're going to have that one in detail. Of course, we have our tutorial we did previously, our first uh, episode in this particular series one. Of course, we explained how to uh, use that particular theming. So for today, we are interested more of in how to pass our data. So yes, we have the home right here, of course, with the index.chml, that's our only view. Then, of course, in the shared view, we have the layout right here and then the error. So let's come to our controller and dive, dive deep in. So, of course, this is our controller, home controller. It's deriving from the sp.net and sp.netcode.mvc.controller sp base class, okay? So our controller is simply a class that's going to handle incoming requests to your web application. So in this case, controllers normally do exist comprised of the action methods, okay? So those action methods, they get mapped, of course, to URLs. For instance, in this case, we have this particular index method is an action method. It's going to return an I action result. So to return that one, in this case, we're just going to return a view object. No, yeah, a view object right here by calling the view method so the view method is going to return for us the view that of course has the same name as this particular index so this is a convention of it here so in this case for instance the index will look for inside inside the view is going to look for the index that i see as such gmail right here and then of course return it of course the home controller right here is of course uh, based in the controllers folder and given as a convention you can see that it starts with the home so it's going to be look for it it's going to look for it inside the home directly inside our views so yes these are data let's say you want to pass uh, a list of data if you just want to pass a string then this is how you pass a string you can see a view data a view data of course this is just a dictionary okay it's a dictionary that derives from the view data dictionary it can be used to pass data in one way from the controller to the view it will go in, you know the lifetime of that particular data that's going to hold it's a dynamic type okay so the lifetime of that particular data is uh with that particular request for instance in this case if you call the index okay uh right here to show the home page then the lifetime of this particular data we have is when that particular index page is being loaded now if we redirect the page to another page it's going to lose that particular data so yes this is how we pass our string so view data description right here then we have our description what about if we want to pass of course a string array so yes string array space graphs then of course we define our space graphs or right there or of course our galaxies in this case all right so once we have them in our array then of course we're going just to say view data spacecrafts and of course we assign them to the spacecrafts now we simply call the view okay 
once we call the view then we can reach to our index.chml we can access of course our data so take note for instance uh, this of course is our index.chml file it's a reserve view uh, right here so what we're going to do of course we can have inside this particular uh, reserve view you can write both uh, CS both C sharp code as well as the HTML code so to write C sharp code if you want to write C sharp code in block you're going to use uh, this particular syntax for instance you can see inside this particular block we are signing the title right here view data title then you are signing this particular title this title we're going to access it of course in our master page which is our layout you'd see HTML then of course right here we have our HTML code okay just the ordinary html then of course we have this particular inline uh reserve expression so this is a, an expression right here you can see it beginning with the art right here of course we call the view data description that we did pass so take note description right here now of course the key that you pass right here has to be equal in both the controller as well as the view so this is going to give us uh, this particular description okay the same thing of course with our um view data right here uh, spacecrafts passing in our collection now another way in which you can access the data that you did pass is using the view bug view bug is a dynamic type uh, right there you can just assign it arbitrary values for instance we did assign uh, that particular a string array of course to our view data now take note that the view data as uh, the view bug of course they use the same engine to store okay they use the same dictionary to store the data so we can access the data either using the view data or using the view bug so in this case let's do it using our view bug so take note at for each will this is of course a c sharp a code right here at for each string s in view bug the space crafts okay we back the spacecrafts this is going to give us access to our spacecrafts then of course we can look through them and then of course uh, print each particular spacecraft within our list so yes we said we're using of course a material materialized theme right here you can see our list another list is going to have the collection right here. then of course with the header then of course we give it header then of course we loop through our item then of course you assign uh, our list items right here you can see collection item okay so does it give this is how we pass our data right here from our controller you can see we can just use the view data or of course the view bug to access our data and that's it of course inside our layout we just have the code for our of course master page so we did explain uh, the contents of this particular layout in our previous tutorial we want this particular class to be shorter so you can check that other tutorial moreover we are leaving the link of course to the full source code below let's run our project and see our result so yeah if we run our project you can see right here we've passed our data okay so take note of the description right here that we did pass and then of course we have also uh our stuff right here you can see the data that we had of course in our array if we, we have it right here we're able to show it so guys does it does it this is it for how to pass of course a list or an array of course from the controller of course to our view so does it take care i'll catch you in the next class